Aye. Aye. Any opposed hearing none, motion carries. Thank you. And then the approval of the special called open session minutes for June 30th of this year. Make a motion. Make a motion, Mr. Wagner. A second. Second, Mr. Blackburn. All in favor say aye. 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 Hearing none opposed, the motion carries. Thank you. Good news. Dr. Altmuller. Good evening. Good evening. Mr. Chairman, members of the board, Tracy McManus, hope you are all well tonight. I bring to you some wonderful news. Elkin City Schools is a school district that has a history of academic excellence, and I have the opportunity tonight to share more of that academic excellence. The College Board defines advanced placement or AP, as you may have heard before, courses as rigorous college level classes in a variety of subjects that give students the opportunity to earn college credit while in high school. Students have to score three or higher using a five point scale on an AP exam associated with that particular course. <clears throat> Advanced placement is a program created by the College Board, which offers, offers college level curricula and examinations to high school students. These exam fee, fees for AP scores, excuse me, AP exams are free to the current students which is an advantage. So you can earn high school credit with a passing score free. I have the honor to share with you the advanced placement scores for Elkin High School. For the 22-23 school year, the percent of total AP students with scores of a three or higher is 93.62. 93.62. That is a distinct increase of 35.99 from last year, which means last year's scores were at 57.63. That's amazing. Wow. Congratulations to the teachers who taught these courses, to Carrie Mullis, our counselor, and to Amanda Burton. Let me give you a little short rundown of what that looks like for these individual teachers what courses were taught, who taught these courses, and how did we get to 93.62? If you were a part of this amazing work, please stand if I call your name. Teachers were Mrs. Janet Akers, Mrs. Nikki Hyatt, Mrs. Jalen Wallace Lanciero, if I said that correctly, she just recently got married in the last six weeks or so, and Mr. Jacob Riley. AP Biology was Janet Akers. 10 of the 11 students passed with 90.9% .9 pass rate. Yeah. <laughs> AP Calculus, Nikki Hyatt, 12 of 13 students pass. I need to do a little caveat with this though. One of those students was an NCVPS student, but the 12 students in Nikki Hyatt's class, 100% of those students passed. AP Calculus, AP Language, <clears throat> Jalen Wallace, 19 students, 17 of the 19 passed 89.5% pass rate. AP Literature, Jalen Wallace, 100% pass rate. That's two at 100%, ladies and gentlemen. AP US History, Mr. Jacob Riley, this is the first time he has taught an AP course, 87.5% pass rate. This is impressive. I congratulate these five teachers and Mr. Jacob Riley, who actually is here tonight. Thank you for coming, Mr. Riley. Mm -hmm. 
Last but not least, I cannot leave this good news without saying a big thank you to Carrie Mullis, who might be available online. She is our school counselor at the high school. The overall effort to broaden access and successful participation in advanced courses has resulted in diligent work by students and therefore solid exam scores and overall high performance for Elkin High School. Thank you, Carrie Mullis, for always being data driven and always looking at data in those earlier years, ninth and 10th grade, and watching students to see who's ready, who's prepared, and really focused on a college course and who can handle it. And then lastly, Mrs. Amanda Burton, please stand, Amanda. You too further examined changes in the data to identify promising practices and to ensure intentional strategies were utilized in the classroom to support growth. And Heath Foster, you also were a part of that. The two of you collaborated with your colleagues. Are you standing? to ensure teamwork makes the dream work. Congratulations to both of you and to your teacher. Thank you. Sure, go This ahead. is thrilling to me. This is the elk and I remember, excelling in academic excellence. And congratulations to all of you for the hard work that didn't come about easily. And I just want you to know how much I, and I'm sure the rest of the board appreciates this. Absolutely, we thank you very, very much. Yeah. Very much, thank you very, very much. I, thank you. All right, Ms. Tracy McManus. Good evening, Chairman, board members, and guests. Tonight, I would like to recognize Ariel, Luciano, and Amparo Oliveri. Ariel and Luciano's father was a foreign exchange student in Elkin City Schools. The Oliveris have visited our school district several times over the last few years. We would like to welcome them and thank them for the soccer camp they have provided for our students and community the last two weeks. I would also like to thank Evelise Minoso, for translating for the brothers and to all of the people who have donated and made the soccer camp possible. In August, Paloma Oliveri, she's not with us tonight, <clears throat> will be attending Elkin High School as a foreign exchange student for the upcoming school year. Evelise Minoso is our translator tonight. If you have any questions or comments, and I think the Oliveri brothers have just a very brief presentation. Please come forward. Bueno, buenas tardes. Eh, una vez más, por tercera vez, estamos aquí en Elkin. Muy felices de estar compartiendo esta experiencia nueva. Estamos muy agradecidos porque nos están brindando, entiendo, lo más preciado del pueblo. que son los estudiantes, son los niños. Y la experiencia, una vez más, es un desafío para nosotros. Esta semana pasada y la semana que estamos transcurriendo, hemos tenido un promedio de entre 50 y 60 chicos por día. Y con mucho respeto y con mucho cariño, tratamos de que se diviertan primero. Y que luego aprendan. Es una relación dialéctica entre el aprendizaje y la diversión. Very, uh, y la verdad que estamos muy felices. Así que, una vez más, muchas gracias. Eh, buenas tardes, mi nombre es Luciano Oliveri. Good afternoon, my name is Luciano. Y bueno, comparto todo lo que dice Ariel. And I share what um, Ariel says. 
Gracias por confiarnos a sus niños y niñas. Thank you for trusting us, your boys and girls. Y esperamos poder repetir esta experiencia por mucho tiempo. And we hope to share this experience in the future. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Gracias. 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 Agradecer. <risa> bueno, yo soy Amparo, la hija de Ariel. Amparo, y soy Ariel's daughter. Y estoy feliz de poder este año venir, que mi hermana se ha venido en la high school. I'm very excited. I got to come this year, and I'm looking forward for my sister to come for high school. Thank you. Please tell them we, we thank them for the impact, the positive impact they're having on our children. We thank them for coming and sharing their experiences and their talents and gifts with our children. Muchas gracias. Public forum. Public forum is next. Did anyone sign up? Or I don't have a sheet. Anybody like to speak? Come forward to the podium. I don't see nothing, hearing nothing. Nobody's moving. Another deep breath. Nothing. No one. All right. We'll continue on. Public information, Ms. McNannis. Tonight is the first reading of the attendance policy 4400. Changes include, included are excused absence title is now changed to lawful absence. So the lawful absence section made descriptions match the North Carolina student attendance and student accounting manual. Um, Ashley Davis worked on this policy a lot to make it match what the manual says. So there's an added unlawful absence section and then under excessive absences and athletics, there's a statement for excessive absences. High school students may be assigned smart breakfast, tutoring or Saturday school to make up time in order to receive course credit. This policy will need to sit for 30 days for review and be voted on at our next board meeting. All right, thank you very much. Everyone will have access to that policy and review that. All right, action items. Mr. Allmuller. Good evening, Mr. Chairman, <laughs> members of the board. This is McManus. So two years ago, uh, Duke Energy contacted us about acquiring a piece of property uh, adjacent to the tower that they have behind our central office. Uh, they are wanting to build another tower on, on that property. Eventually, they will be tearing down the old one. So they wanted to acquire an additional uh, 1,823 feet uh, of property. We sold it to them for $5,000, um, it was approved by our board, approved by Surrey County Commissioners. Uh, the town of Elkin, once they got into all the zoning stuff, would not approve it because of they required a certain amount of land more for what they were gonna do. So uh, Duke Energy contacted county commissioners. They already have approval from county commissioners for an additional piece of property, which is 242 more square feet to pass the Elkin zoning. <clears throat> so what I've talked with uh, Fred Johnson about this <clears throat> and um, we agreed that if, if you take the 1,823 square feet and you divide it by 5,000, it's basically 36 cents a square foot. So doing the math, it comes out to $88.23 additional money that they would pay us. And then they have to pay, Duke Energy has to pay all legal expenses or all expenses in general concerning the transfer of the property. Um, if you'll flip to the map. Yeah. 
Uh, so the shaded, the shaded in yellow was the original 1,823 square feet, and the red is the additional 242, which, as far as our purposes, it doesn't make any difference. So I'm good with it, if y'all are good with it, and uh, we'll let Duke Energy build another tower. Any questions for Mr. Altmuller? Yes, has the, the town board approved this? They will once the once it's intact as one tract. That's my understanding. That's the whole purpose of it. Typically, that's what happens. You know, they want the school board's approval, and then they'll ask for right. Typically, it goes from school board to county to town. I don't know how it got reverse order. And then first I heard about it was I got I was contacted by Fred Johnson and. I didn't know anything about it. So he filled me in on it and I took it from there. And uh, I think Mr. Johnson is out right now, I, but I'll let him know. Any other questions? All right. We need a motion to approve this. I make a motion to approve this. Yeah, Mr. Blackburn makes a motion. Second. Second. Second, Mr. Wagner. All in favor say aye. Aye. Hear none approved. Thank you, John. Thank you. Ms. Burton. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, and Ms. McManus. Um, tonight, I have our Pepsi contract for Elkin High School and Elkin Middle School to present to you. So hopefully you've had an opportunity to look through it. Um, this is this this past school year, um, our Pepsi contract ended. So when <clears throat> we knew that we were going to have to renew with Pepsi, we decided to talk to our representative to see what options we had. Um, and so what is presented tonight is a five year contract. And with this contract, rather than us receiving commission on the cases that we sell from our drink machines, and that at the athletic foundation sales, we will be receiving scoreboards for our new gymnasium. Um, so we felt like it would be more advantageous for us to go that route this year, knowing that we were going to have to outfit our new gym with those new scoreboards. Okay. So it includes um, the scoreboards with our custom art um, installation, um, the whole nine yards. So over a course of five years, we will have to sell 2,625 cases of Pepsi products. So um, that is the gist. If you have any other specific questions, I can answer them. I did read about that. Are there any reper repercussions if we don't sell that many? Right. So this is definitely doable. Um, based on what we have sold over the past two years, um, we would definitely be on track to, um, to sell this many cases. And in addition, they have updated our machines. So that was one thing we were kind of getting bogged down and our machines weren't getting filled in a timely manner for folks to purchase um, drinks out of them. But there's some kind of new system inside of the drink machine, like smart technology that talks to the driver um, and it lets them know once um, the drink machines reach a certain threshold and then they come fill them on a more regular basis so that we're able to continue to sell. And um, also our assistant AD, um, Carrie Norman, spoke to some other schools around us um, who went this route and they really were able to sell um, their amount of drinks within a year and then kind of renegotiate a new contract for that that following year. So we feel like we'll be in good shape. So if we sell more, we could start doing commissions possibly. Right. Yeah. But in the in the unforeseen event that something crazy happened and we didn't, would we just have to pay the difference? And we pay the difference. Okay. Yes. Do you off the top of your head know the cost of the scoreboards and scoreboards? I do um not off the top of my head, but I can look and tell you. Yeah, they're expensive. Yeah. So the grand total was $9,071.47. And so that is one of the larger scoreboards and then a smaller scoreboard. So it will match what's in our existing gym in H. Carpenter. 
Great. All right. Any other questions for Ms. Burton? Need a motion to approve the contract? I make a motion to approve the contract. Motion by Mr. Wagner. Second? I'll second. Second. Ms. Jennifer, and all approved say aye. Aye. Thank you, Ms. Burton. Good evening. Uh, what you have before you this evening is a memorandum of understanding between Elkin City Schools and Gardner Webb University College of Education. So, a memorandum of understanding is also called an MOU. Um, and this MOU is for a term of five years and can be renewed by written consent on both parties for an additional three year terms. What this memorandum will do, it will provide student teachers, clinical educators, clinical interns, et cetera, to complete their program of study in the Elkin City Schools. Do you have any questions regarding this? Any questions? Do we have an MOU with any other university at this time? We do. Anyone that sends a student teacher from a university, uh, we have MOU with. Okay. App State currently is our biggest uh, university. That Are there any others that you're aware of? Um, Lise McCray. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions? We need a motion. I'll make that motion. Motion by Dr. Blevins. Second. Second, Mr. Blackburn. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you, Allison. Motion carried. Ms. McManus, second reading of revised policies. Tonight, I am presenting the second reading of these policies. There have been no questions or concerns regarding the policies. The changes were very minimal. There were just changes in the statutes. I am requesting all policies be approved at this time. All right, we're going to vote on those as a single document. Is there a motion to do so? I make such motion. So move. So moved by Mr. Blackburn. Second? Second. Second, Mr. Wagner. All in favor say aye. 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 Hearing none opposed, motion carries. Thank you very much, Ms. McManus. All right. The next one's yours, too. The North Carolina Attainment Goal Resolution is an initiative in the state of North Carolina. Elkin City Schools has supported this initiative in the past. My Future NC promotes a shared vision for an education and workforce continuum across North Carolina from early childhood through adulthood and aligns and supports local, regional, and state actions that will dramatically increase attainment of industry-valued credentials and post-secondary degrees. My Future NC promotes work of all sectors and helps find and fill gaps to drive educational access and attainment outcomes that align with and fulfill employers' needs. On February 20th, 2019, My Future NC unveiled its goal and bold mission for the future of education in our state. We will work to ensure that by 2030, 2 million North Carolinians have a high quality credential or post-secondary degree. All school districts in Surrey County and Surrey Community College are adopting the resolution. So ways that we support this resolution are um, support with the counselors completing the FAFSA with students who are attending college, um, CTE courses, things that we do with Portrait of a Graduate. So we're just promising um, North Carolina that we are trying to deliver to the workforce students that are quality, have been quality, have a quality education and are ready for the workforce. So like I said, we have um, Elkin City Schools has adopted this um, attainment goal before in previous years, so I'm just asking for approval of the goal to say that we support this and um, along with the rest of Surrey County. All right, motion to approve the goal resolution. I'll make a motion. All right, motion by Ms. Klinex. Go a little second. Second. Second, Dr. Blevins. All in favor say aye. I have a question before. Uh, is CTE the equivalent of what used to be the DE? CTE are career technical education courses. Okay, so you've answered. Mm -hmm. courses. All right. So let's try it again. Uh, motion to approve the resolution. I'll approve. Okay. Second. I'll second. All right. Now all in favor say aye. 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 Hearing none opposed. Thank you, Trish. All right. 
Um, the next thing I have is a contract for Insight Human Services for the 23-24 school year. Insight has provided drug testing for students and staff for several years. There are no changes to the contract. We have had it in the past and we are just renewing it for the current school year. So they are the company that comes in and does drug testing on our athletes. Um, so I'm just asking for approval for this contract. I so move. All right, so move, second. Second. Second, Mr. Wagner. All approved, say aye. 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 Hear none approved. Thank you, Tracy. Overnight field trip. Um, the last thing is Miss Amanda Burton has submitted an overnight field tri trip request for the senior class field trip early, so they may begin planning. We just need a motion for approval for the trip to Washington, D.C. Motion to approve the overnight field trip. I'll make that motion. Motion by Ms. Klein Eskel, second. Second. Second, Dr. Blevins. All in favor say aye. Aye. Hear none opposed. Motion carries. Thank you very much. All right. Finally, personnel report that we've uh, had tonight. Need a motion to approve those items that we've talked about on the personnel report. I'll make that motion. Motion by Dr. Blevins. Is there a second? Second. Second, Mr. Wagner. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. Motion carries. Thank you, board members. All right. Um, announcements. Um, as you Wednesday, August the 9th, the convocation, Dixon Auditorium, 8:30 in the morning. You see those on the screen there. It's required work day that Friday. Monday the 14th, another required optional work day. First day of school, Wednesday, August 16th, 2023. We're having a board retreat, board members. August the 21st, Monday, it's in a few weeks. The Heritage Center downtown, that's, that's the old lumber yard, isn't it, downtown? Be the old Phillips lumber. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to have that from 9 to 3, and then the regular meeting here. Uh, we're going to try to start closed session uh, either – Four or five, I'll let you know. Okay. Um, all right. And then I want to say something about the superintendent search. Uh, we've had some discussion about that. And uh, just to let you know where we're at, we had um, we had 10 applications for the superintendent job. And uh, tonight I can say that we have approved uh, to interview the top three. And we're going to interview the top three. Uh, starting on the 14th of August. And uh, we'll do the interviews that week and then uh, let you know how that goes. So the process is underway. We've got, uh, we've had some very uh, healthy, I think, and productive discussions. And uh, so I want to let you know where we're at on that. All right. Finally, uh, before we end, I want to open the floor to any board member that might have any comments or accolades or shout outs to anyone in the community mr chairman i just want to say again i can't tell you how thrilled i am dr altmuller of this good news that you gave to us and um hearty kudos to all i can't all that were involved um mrs burton mr foster all the teachers involved this this is a highlight of my night thank you anyone else um i'd like to say go ahead larry to tracy i think you did an excellent job tonight sharing <laughs> i appreciate that your comments were very good i appreciate it all right, anyone else? Anything on your heart or your mind? I, I would like to say also uh, to accentuate what Earl said, um, you know, my, my son uh, is in that group and he, uh, he, well, let's just, he did very well and we're, I'm very blessed to the teachers that, that taught my son this year as a senior. And uh, he placed out of uh, Wake Forest was very impressed with his education. And that's a tribute 
the university was impressed with his preparation and he placed out of several classes. Uh, and that's a result of, just like Cynthia said, Ms. Burden, Heath, the teachers, uh, it's just, you know, it's phenomenal, you know, and it's great to see the fruit of that. Many years of still, we still have high, high quality education. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Anyone else? All right, hearing none, um, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Mr. Wagner? Second. Second. Second, Mr. Blackburn. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you very much. Y'all have a great evening, a great summer. And thank you. Thank you.